welcome if you are new here or welcome back if you have been here before i am freya and this is budgie budgets where we are trying to create some financial security for our beautiful family um by zero based budgeting cash based budgeting um and paying down a heap of debt so uh i completely forgot when i did my cash shopping on Wednesday and I was like, I'll see you guys on Sunday. Uh, that it's end of month. It's end of month, you guys. I'm not really sure how that happened. Uh, but we are already at the end of June. So we have to do end of month totals and a debt review. Uh, so that's all we're here for today. Um, first of all, um, I'm not sure why I have this out, but anyway, we'll pop that off to the side. Um, I am obviously, I'm sure you can hear, feeling much better. Uh, my voice is nearly completely back to normal, thank goodness. And um, almost all of the pain has gone away, which is lovely. They still don't really know what it is, um, what it was, but I can't get into a specialist for a little while. So they do think it is something to do with the things that I already have. I've been seeing a couple of different doctors. They all have different theories, <laughs> but the important thing is that all of the necessary scans and tests have been done. Um, so everybody is confident that it's nothing nasty. And that is all I need to know um, to, yeah, to be okay with it. These things just happen um, with my body. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, as long as, as long as I know I'm not gonna suddenly drop dead anywhere uh, or anything like that, then we're good to power through. Uh, so today we are going to do our uh, our end of month um, and see what our totals are looking like. I mean, fair warning, they're not going to be great. <laughs> we've had a lot of unexpected spending and we've had a lot of just regular spending too. Um, and of course, we transferred out that big chunk of money to my uh, superannuation account, my retirement account, and that is now nicely tucked away in there. And I am glad that this little medical mishap happened literally the day after I made that transfer and not the day before, because uh, if it had been the day before, I definitely would not have transferred that money. Um, but I am glad it is where it is. I'm looking forward to the $500 co-contribution coming in from the government. So it is what it is. I think we will do a little bit of condensing uh, as we go, if we can. I just feel like I have a lot of cash in the house. I don't know how much condensing there is going to be to do. I think not much because I only did one a couple of weeks ago, but We'll see what we can get rid of, uh, get back to bank and earning some monies, earning some interest. Okay, so I already have this set up, um, ready to go. I have last month's total in here, so this is how we're going to do it. We're going to have this month's total here. This is last month's total. I will likely just work out the difference between the totals rather than the individual differences, I think, uh, just so that the video doesn't go for too, too long. Um, but yeah, I've got you zoomed out a little bit. I've moved some things around to give us a little bit of extra space so without further ado let's see how we go so in subscriptions we have 200 220 240 250 255 so we'll get rid of these and we'll pop in a 50. um if i can work it out if i remember i'll put the little although that's not going to be right i was going to say i'll put the little bank totals in the corner but it'll be the bank totals of what's in there uh like today, do you know what I mean? <laughs> it won't include this money that I'm condensing out today. Uh, so that was 255, so that's gone up, that's nice. Uh, water will have gone down, that's got just 40 in it, so there's nothing we can do with that. Uh, so we did pay a $220 water bill uh, last week or the week before. Electricity has 50, 100, 120, 140. So we'll take those out. Whoops, we'll pop in, ooh, a 100. Oh, and, oh my goodness, how could I forget? Uh, so 140 in there. We did also pay a very large electricity bill. It was over $500. Can't remember how much it was exactly. I think it was 550 um, last week. Um, my Etsy store is back open. I mean, not that it was shut, but all my physical items are listed again. I have um, made some pricing changes. Some things have gone up, not by a lot. It's at most $50, uh, $50, <laughs> I wish. It's at most 50 cents per item. Um, some items have gone down. Some items are cheaper. 
and I have moved the listings around a little bit. So I have decided that these black and white minimalist trackers have their own listing and then you can opt to buy them as a physical copy. Um, but then they're all in the same one. So you know what you've got to choose from all in that one section of my store. And then I will have colorful trackers separately because I think I will be doing more of those as well. And then I have my other physical items like placeholders, um, my budgie box, envelopes. Um, you will notice now there are two separate listings for envelopes. There is a listing specifically for my gingham envelopes. There is a separate listing if you want custom patterns. So if you want me to come up with different patterns, um, whether you want them all to be matching, whether you want them all to be different, whatever it is, it's a custom pattern listing. Sorry, I'm getting really breathless. Give me a second. <laughs> um, they are slightly more expensive. It's not a big difference between them. It's just because it is more work for me. It takes more time um, because obviously the gingham stuff I have ready to go. I've paid, I've got, I own the patterns um, and it's all set up and ready to go for me to maximize how many envelopes I can get per sheet of paper, per laminate, blah, blah, blah. When I do the individual pattern ones, a little bit different and it takes me a little bit longer. Um, <laughs> of course, of course it has. The fire alarm in the apartment building that's across from me has just gone off. Um, I hope that's not too loud and I hope it stops in a minute. Um, but yeah, so the, um, the slight increase in pricing is due to a couple of things. The first of which is um, where I get my laminate and things from have put their prices up a little bit. And I have already tried a cheaper supplier for those things and I am not happy with the quality, so I won't use it. Um, I only want to be selling the nicest quality stuff. So I don't want to scrimp on that. Um, but also my prices were already quite low. There wasn't a lot of margin for me to be able to absorb that cost. Um, and obviously now that I've been doing this for a few months and I've had a lot of orders and thank you so much to all of you. I love you all so much. Um, I'm just a little bit more across what takes me the longest time and what is um, faster for me to do as well like what I yeah it's just so so that's the reflection of pricing as I said some things have gone down um but some things have gone up just so that you're prepared for that it is not a huge increase um they I've I've, I've kept them as small as I possibly can um so yeah but that's that but everything's up and and ready to go so if you've been waiting to order um knock yourself out <laughs> okay so let's keep going here so gas has 150 in the bank and then we've got 20 40 60 80 90 oh we're so close so close to 100 in there uh so 50 oh but we already have a 50 in there so let's do no we already have 100 in there so let's do 200 we can get rid of both of those um okay so 240 in there now so that's a good amount in there because we have just paid a massive tax bill as well. Um, quite a few people ask me um, whether or not to include their bills binder in their monthly totals. It's totally up to you. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100 in there. So that's good. We can change out all of those and we can change out those for a 500. Um, yeah, it's completely up to you. I, it's my personal preference that I do just because I know there's a lot of money in here and I like to try and keep track of, um, what I've got and where, but it does affect your totals each month, obviously. So you're not always going to have that upward trend when you have a month like I have where you've paid or like multiple utility bills in one go. And like when I pay my car insurance, obviously that'll be a big one too. Um, but yeah. 20, 30, 40. I mean, with any, with any budgeting stuff, as far as I am concerned, there are no hard and fast rules. Like you, you adjust it. Like I've taken inspiration for my budgeting style from many, many, many different budgeters. And I did not write that down. Uh, so it was 150, 60, 70, 80, 90, 190. Um, yeah, I've read heaps of finance books. I have a background in finance myself. Um, I binge watched The Budget Mum for a very long time. Um, yeah, I, I, I get what I do. My process, 120, has come from many, many years of watching different people and different cash stuffers as well um, and how they manage their sorry i'm getting too chatty and i'm not um even really telling you what i'm doing so 50 60 65 
in car service. Um, yeah, and then I've just adapted it to uh, nothing in ambulance, obviously. This one has 120. I've just adapted it to what suits um, my situation. So you'll see as well, like in my cash unstuffing, um, like this week, like I've overspent in quite a few different areas. Uh, rather than pulling that from a lot of different categories and making a mess of my envelopes and I'm going to have to pay it back later, I would rather hold that. Like I have used some of the cash in my bank, I've used up my buffer, my mojo buffer and whatever to pay for those things. Um, and I will then reimburse them in my next budget with me. I hope that makes sense. So I just kind of hold on to that overspending. I keep track of it and then I make sure I pay from it unless I know I'm going to struggle. So like last week, I obviously unstuffed my buffer because I knew, I knew that was going to be, oh my goodness, that fire. Give me a moment and I'll come back when that fire alarm has stopped again. Okay. So... <laughs> Uh, we have a difference of 515 in our green binder that we've gone down. Um, sorry, so as I was saying, the alarm was still going, but I knew I could just quickly speed that up and take the sound out of it. Um, what was I saying? Oh, right. So, yeah, I took out my buffer because I knew... Uh, I knew that I, did, I wasn't going to have enough to cover that overspending in my next paycheck. Also, I knew that there was going to be further overspending. So I knew I was going to have to go back and see a different doctor, if not a specialist. I knew I was going to have to spend more on medications. Um, I knew likely our takeaway budget was going to be blown, which it was. <laughs> so because I, because I could foresee all of those things coming and I am quite I have quite an intimate knowledge of my budget at this point because I am in and out of it all the time, um, then I know that I do have to pull from other categories to cover that. So when I can avoid it, I do, um, and I tend to cover it with the following paycheck. A lot of people will tell you that's the wrong way to do it. Um, a lot of cash stuffers would not do it that way, but that's just one of the tweaks that I have made because that's what works for, that's what works for me. Um, so you just have to you just have to get into a rhythm of what works for you um, and 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 keep adjusting it like nothing is a hard and fast rule you just adjust it as you go and you will get into a rhythm that works for you and when you need to change it again you can and you will um, okay so medical has 20 40 60 70 in there I am actually not going to count that towards this total because I know that that money has already been spent it's gone so it's gone and then some, so we're definitely not going to count that. Um, dental has 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So we'll change out those tens. Unfortunately, we can't put 100 in there. We're very close though. Uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that little TED talk. Oh, optical's not in here yet, but that's okay. It's got nothing. Uh, 150, 60, 70, 80. Nine, oh, that's annoying, 190 in there as well. Man, I should have planned my last <clears throat> cash stuffing a bit better, shouldn't I? Uh, 2035 in house. And I'd say security will then have the same as well. Yes, it does. Clothes has nothing, shoes has nothing. Car tire still has its lonely five. Uh, license has 10, 15, 20, 25. So we'll take those two fives. Oh, we we'll, won't pop in a 10, we'll get a 20. <clears throat> so that's gone up a bit. Puppies has nothing. Uh, super is full, was fully funded. Um, I will take that out in my next cash shopping. It has zero, but this did get up to a thousand. And I've not, that money's not gone. It's not been spent. It's been invested. So it is still in my, um, I'm not going to count it here, but it is still in my net wealth um, situation. Oh, I already wrote zero. Come on, Bria, pay attention. Okay. So moving has 40. I did um, condense that down too on the tracker. Uh, just so, just because, why not? 
Mojo has 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. There are lots of things in here with 90. Uh, oh well. All right, so that's that one. Oh, I forgot to write the total in the back of that binder. Oh dear. Okay, hang on. Let's get this. Let's get this added up. So I'll speed this up for you. Okay, so 510. And I mean, the majority of that is, um, is what's gone. I mean, actually, we're down less than what we took out for my super because there was 660 in there for super and that's all gone. So um, we have actually, you know, sort of made progress in there, which is something. Uh, let me just get, let me just get my little pen. Uh, so 510 in this one. There is a solid chance that I will forget to do this in more than one binder because I did last time. I do so love having those in the back though. Um, they're really, really handy. Oh, and I'll have to remember to do that too. Uh, what was that total? 1670. So yeah, I mean, this one is going to fluctuate all the time because it's a bills binder, that's what happens. Oh, it just got really dark. Oh, I hope that's not too dark for you guys. We'll see if that sun comes back out. It has been a beautiful day here. Absolutely stunning. Uh, so 20, 40, 50, 65 in school. Expenses. Uh, so we'll take out 50. Um, I know it is like it's a, um, I don't know, fiddly process, I suppose, to cash condensed down to $50 placeholders, but I just, yeah, I really prefer not having too much cash in the house just because of, um, just for safety, 50, 60, 70, uh, 80. Um, yeah. Uh, tennis has 20, 40, 50, uh, 20, 40, 60, 80, and 90. So we'll keep those in there. Grab a 50. Lots of things with 90. Oh, there's that sun again. Yay! Stay out for me, please. Because I don't have any of my lights on. I was so excited not to need them. Now, I must have reversed books and photos, so that's interesting. Photos has 15 still. It hasn't changed. Whoops. Get in there. Uh, and books just has 50. Um, tech, I think, still has the same. It's still got 80. We will be adding significantly to this, hopefully, in July. Ready for my daughter next year. Although we have actually just been... Uh, holidays has 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Um, I, think I, I think I will. Yeah, I think I will change that out. It's a little bit on the fence, but I think it will. Um, you have just actually been with my oldest daughter this morning to have a look at a different school uh, for her. Um, not that she doesn't, she's in a great school as it is at the moment. Um, it's just, do I have one in the back of that? Oh yeah, I do, okay. Um, she's very, very interested in um, fashion and design, textiles, art, all that sort of thing. So I'm just wondering if it might be worthwhile sending her somewhere that has a bit more, um, a bit stronger programs in that area. Um, she's a very clever cookie, uh, my oldest daughter. Uh, and incredibly creative as well. Also, this one's actually gone up, so that's nice. Um, that one's gone down. Uh, so, uh, 480. Um, yeah, so that, oops, that might change what technology she needs um, for next year. I imagine anywhere she goes, she's going to need a, a decent laptop because that's what they do now. Gone are the days of just um, textbooks and exercise books. Hey, 
Okay, so purple, I don't think there's very much in here. I think that's still just got 20. These are all of the ones that are the first to not get stuffed when uh, things hit the fan. <laughs> 15 in here. Um, I think there's also 15. Yep, in beauty. Uh, that's not on there, that's not on there, that's not on there, but they're all empty, so that's fine. We're still only five in appliances and everything else in there is empty. Uh, so we have fifty-five in there, and that one's gone up as well, just by twenty-five, but still better than nothing. Um, yeah, I do think I'm gonna rejig all of my pointers again. I know you guys, I know. But like I was saying, it's it's just all about getting it getting it to a point where it's um where it's functioning well for you it doesn't really matter what everyone else is doing uh so it says 20 30 and 40 in there currently i'm sure some if not all of that will be spent shortly in the holidays that has 20 30 uh, 20 30 oh my goodness 10 25 i'm going to change that over <clears throat> Hopefully I can get some more money going on in here now because it's taken quite a hit. I might just change those over to a 20 as well while I'm here. Whoops. Okay, date still has its lonely five. Oh my goodness. Poor date nights. Never going to happen at this rate, is it? And stop putting them away before you've done the totals. Okay, so 40 and 25 and 5. So that one's gone down as well. 25. <clears throat> um, yeah, I just think that I need to break things up a little bit differently. Um, <laughs> just for my own amusement, really, just for my own enjoyment. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, okay, so Father's Day has in it. I hope you guys can see everything actually. I'm probably making an absolute mess of this. Uh, Father's Day has 20 in there, so that's good. Uh, I think Halloween has 10. And that's it. All of the rest of them have nothing except for Christmas. So let's see what's happening in the Christmas binder. I will definitely, I will definitely speed this up for you. Okay, so 330 in the Christmas binder which means we've added 10 whole dollars. Look out, you guys. Oh dear. We need to work on that moving forward too. So 360 in there. I'll just add that to our little tracker in the back. So at least that one has gone up a little bit. So that one is up 30. Let's see how our birthdays are going. I have decided I'm not going to count mini Mondays as part of this. So we've got 20, 40 and 50 in there. That's good. We can get rid of those. Pop in a 50. Oh my goodness. It's like peak hour in my street today. So much noise. Sorry, you guys. Uh, 10, 15, 20, and 5. We'll get rid of those. 25 in there. And then this one has 10, 15, 
card as well. The first two birthdays in here we'll get. Um, this one should just be fine if we just keep trucking along. Uh, but the first two need to be reimbursed from her birthday party, which I pinched from them for. Hubby has five, wifey has five, there goes that sign again. And everything else in there is empty. So we've got 50 and 25 and 25 and five and five. So at least that's gone up. That's nice. So even though it's marginal, despite everything that's happened this month, we have gone up in most of the binders. Um, even if it's only, yeah, small amounts. Um, hopefully July is much more impressive. And I do think our savings challenge binder has probably gone up quite a bit because we've put quite a bit in there. <clears throat> Although I won't be counting mini Mondays and that's got quite a bit in it. Uh, we have put quite a bit in here and we have not completed any challenges. So nothing has come back out. Uh, so winter has 2035. I really cannot wait until we complete some of these challenges. Um, this or that has 10, 15, 20, uh, 22. Mm, will I change those out? I might leave it. I might leave them in here and then if I need change for cash stuff and anything, I know I can come in here. Full house has 50, 60, 70, 80, 83. That's a pretty good jump in those ones so far. Um, Save Upley has 20, 30, and 40. I'm going to have to have $10 ready for this one <laughs> the next time. I'm too close to Etsy jail. Ah, 40, wasn't it? Cara Lama has 20, 40, 55. Block It has. I did realize the other day, too, that if I hadn't have done that extra run on Block It, I would have had $3 left for the jelly bean and I could have done a red one. <laughs> I was very annoyed. 50, 60, 70, 71 in block it. Uh oh, I can feel a sneeze coming on because that sun came back out. Oh, is it gonna go away? No. Excuse me. Okay, 10, 25. My sneezes usually come in at least threes, if not more, but I try and get rid of them. I have sneaky tricks. Uh, okay, so uh, Jelly Bean has 50, 60, 65, 67, 66, 67, 68, 69. I don't know why. I think just because we don't normally have $1 notes that as soon as they come up, my brain like short circuits and goes, I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> and there's 25 in roll it up. And then in our 50 envelope challenge, we have, I'll just pinch this out. Uh, but we have, we have five, 10, 15, 10, 20, 30, and that one must be a 20. Uh, so 65 in that one, I think. 5, 10, 15, and 10 is 25, 35, 45. Oh, wait, is that right? That's not right. Is that 15? It's 10 plus 10. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Yeah, because that's a 10, that's not a 5. Okay, never mind. I was right the first time. Okay, so let's see what's in here. Woohoo! 487. Hang on, guys, I have to sneeze again. I'll be right back. Okay, that's better. I'm not sure that I added that up right. Let me just double check. Oh, 
I was going to say, I don't think I could have because it should be round numbers in here. So it should either end with a five or a zero. Okay, so 490, that's good. So we've added $250 in here and that's not including um, anything that we've added to Mini Mondays. And I'm not going to count Mini Mondays because then I'll just count that when it comes in here. So bear with me while I write this in here. Um, you guys, I'm actually pretty stoked with that. <laughs> We've paid one uh, one thousand two hundred and something dollars in utility bills. I took out the one thousand um, dollars for my super, and I have taken out all of my like the medical money and the buffer and then some, and we are only out six hundred and ninety dollars. So I think that we've done really well. I think I'm really, really. I don't think I know. I'm really, really happy with that. I'm just going to quickly add this total in here sorry also while you're watching me do that you can probably get my uh the tremor in my hand is really obvious today um i'm not sure why i must be i must be tired um but yeah not that i'm sure it doesn't bother you guys but anyway uh okay so that's that so that's awesome so all we have left to do right now is our uh our debt update I'll count up how much we're sending back to bank and then I will let you go and get on with your beautiful Friday. I hope the weather is as lovely everywhere else as it is here. Um, it is so, so nice today. Okay, so it's debt review time. Maybe I should count up the cash first. Shall I do that? Let's see what we're sending back to the bank. Let's have a look. So we've got 50, whoops, 50, 1, 1, 50, and that makes me not want to keep just counting it. <laughs> 20, 40, 60, 81. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92. 210. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 90. So we're taking $550 back, back to the bank. I did figure it probably wouldn't be a huge amount of money, um, but it is still money that then doesn't need to be sitting in our house, which is my strong preference. So let's see how we're going on our debt review. And this might be a little bit of a mess. Um, but we will see how we go, um, just because, so our starting balance last month was 13,978 for our Visa card. Um, the interest that we paid was 168. It went up this month. I don't know why. I don't know if we must have carried a high balance on more days. Or something, or it was also definitely a longer month, so it could be that as well. Like there was an extra day or two in the month, I suppose. But uh, anyway, um, payments we made was only two hundred and seven, even though we transferred two hundred and eighty. Um, only two hundred and seven came off the balance of the card um, because of other spending that we've obviously done. But hopefully, we will be able to make that up. And that's just literally that's the stuff I was trying to pay back from the buffer, so medical stuff um, and chemist stuff. Unfortunately, <laughs> nothing fun. Uh, so 39 on that, and that is 0.2% of the balance. Then our other one is 8,400. That's on 0% interest. We paid 170, and that now has 8,230 to go. The difference is the same because there's no interest, and that's 2% of the balance. This is the fun one because it's 735. It's no interest. We pay 245. So the balance is now 490, and I already have half of that ready to go for next uh, for July's payment because the payment comes out early July. 
which means I only have to rally up another one more payment. Uh, so that is 33% of the balance of that one, which is terribly exciting. Uh, so $23,113, we paid a total of 168 in interest. We made $622 worth of payments. The balance is now 22,659. I am gonna be so excited when that's under 20 grand. Um, so we made an improvement of $554 or 1.9%, which look, can, all things considered, um, pretty happy, pretty happy with that. <laughs> Um, so, uh, I will give you our overall totals as well, because this one's even more fun. Uh, so the starting balance overall was 14,275. Our current balance is 13,939. The difference in total is $336, which also works out to be 2.3% of that debt. The MasterCard started at $8,750. It is now $8,230 for a difference of $520 or 5.9% of that balance. The ATO started at $1,225. Now, is sitting at uh, four, whoops, 490, meaning that we have paid off $735 or 60% of what we owed. So our total was 24,250. We now have 22,659 with a total difference of $1,591 or 6.5%, you guys. I am really, really hoping, and it's probably far too optimistic a goal, but I'm really, really hoping that by the end of July, we might be able to round this up to like nine or even 10%. And that might be a little bit too optimistic, but I am hoping, that's what I'm hoping, mainly because, um, yeah, tax returns and things. The only thing that's gonna hold us back from doing that is that after what happened last week, um, I would really like to make sure that we are really boosting up our emergency fund and our medical category just so that we have that money there if we need it because, um, yeah, that way we don't have to go further into debt um, to pay for things like that. So in total, we are, we've gone backwards in our binders and in our debt $236 this month. So, and yeah, as I said before, all things considered, I'm pretty happy with that. And really, if we count the, um, if we count the $1,000 that went into my super, um, we're actually better off $764 in total. So like even here, if we, if we count the $1,000 that went into my super, even though we paid $1,200 worth of utility bills, we're still $310 better off than we were. Um, if we had, if I had have included that in the totals, uh, but I didn't want to, because I didn't want it to skew next month. I want to really be able to see what kind of impact we can have next month. So, um, yeah, that is all for today. I'm sure this has been a very, very long video. So if you have stuck with me, thank you so much for sticking with me. Um, and I will see you guys on Sunday for next week's budget with me. I am going to keep my budget with me as weekly. Uh, that seems to be the overwhelming, um, request. Uh, which is totally fine and if it is helpful to people i'm more than happy to keep doing that i will try and describe uh like i did today i will try and describe a little bit more what i'm doing and why in these videos because um yeah i suppose it hadn't really occurred to me how many people come into these videos and being completely new to cash stuffing and to zero based budgeting and if you are completely new to it, it's a little bit tricky to understand the mechanics behind some of it and, and, and why I do specifically what I do, why I do the method that I do and the things that I do. So, um, yeah, I will try and be mindful of that too. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. Look after yourselves. If you've enjoyed today's video, if you could like, comment and subscribe, I would be beyond appreciated. Uh, don't forget that Etsy is back open. I will post that on my Instagram as well. Um, I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.